Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. What's on your mind? I told you before how Al Eamon raised me, right? That my mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in? The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marek, which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. Uh, why did you wait to tell me this? I, I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaylin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Mm. I think I understand. Oh, good. I'm glad. It's not like I got special treatment for it anyhow. At any rate, that's it. That's what I had to tell you. I thought you should know about it. So you're the heir to the throne then? Let's hope not. I'm the son of a commoner and a Grey Warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh, no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. That's not really what you think, is it? No, I suppose not. I don't feel very lucky at all, to be honest. Alistair, Alistair, Alistair. Hey. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? Uh, what do you mean? Is there a problem? So you... you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? I've heard Eamon is sick. He could be dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. <laughs> Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! <laughs> this is wonderful news! Still alive, yes. Though not for long, if Ten Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. 
Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. You don't believe L Loghain's lies? What, that he pulled his men in order to save them? That Caelan risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> Hardly. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So, you are a Grey Warden as well? Is it possible we've met? You seem very familiar. You must have known my father. Ah, yes, that's it, exactly. A pleasure to meet you indeed, though I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. What evil things? Some call them the walking dead, decomposing corpses, returning to life with a hunger Ugh. for human flesh. They hit again the next night. Each night they come with greater numbers. With Caelan dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. Of course we'll help. There are no darkspawn here and nothing to gain. It is a fool's errand. If there's a chance to rescue the Arl, we have to try. Yet helping these humans does nothing of the sort. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Tell me more about yourself. This is hardly the time to be discussing personal details, don't you think? We will have to fight for our lives very shortly. I... I beg your pardon, my lady. Where are my manners? What would you like to know? Mm, what will you do if Arl Eamon is dead? I don't know. If Connor lives, he'll be the Arl and I'll need to help him with it. If he's... well, I don't want to think about that. Why have you stayed? After the first attack, I wanted to go for help, but I couldn't just leave these people. The Bannon gear up to battle Loghain while Darkspawn loom to the south. Loghain won't send anyone, so Redcliffe is on its own. Hmm, are you a skilled warrior? Skilled enough to know there are many far better than myself. Hmm. Oh, you mean, am I married? I... no, no, I've never had the pleasure. If I did, I'd be lucky to find a woman as lovely as yourself. Oh my gosh. Flatter. If I may be so bold, what of you, my lady? Are you married? Oh my gosh. No. I find that hard to believe. Surely that is a crime somewhere. But I am too bold, my lady. This is hardly the time for such banter. Please accept my apology. <laughs> I've never had this pop up before. This is hilarious. Um, in fact, you're not bold enough. You're too kind, my lady. Amongst many other things. <laughs> Good, then my secrets uh, are still safe. I was worried for a moment there. Oh my gosh, he's cracking me up. Okay, so what about Earl Eamon's knight? I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? Their search for the urn? Yes, I question Isolde's decision to send so many knights in search of this relic. But I am a practical man, whereas she is a woman of great faith. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. Mm. So what happens after the battle? Hopefully we can find the source and stop it before it causes any more damage. With luck, we'll also find Eamon and be able to help him. Why are you in the Chantry? Sir Perth insists. 
He wants me to be with the villagers, so everyone he needs to protect is in one place. I don't mind, to be honest. The point of all this is to protect the villagers, and I can do that best here. This is the last line of defense, should things go amiss. Do you need more men in here with you? We could bring some men in to stand beside me, but I'd rather keep the monsters away from the villagers if possible. Okay. Let's go back Very to well. Work. Luck be with you, my friend. Ah, uh, Morgan and Stan. Not surprised at all. They tend to not like anything that I do. <laughs> Let us pray. Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. So... I'm scared, Mother. When are the bad men coming? Demonic possession. So Don't worry. Everything will be mm. alright. I'm so scared, Father. Caitlin. What are we going Sorry. to do? Am I bothering me? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. You're not bothering me. I shouldn't be such a crybaby. With Mother gone now, I have to be brave. I just... I can't help myself. I'm so frightened. Those... Those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Everywhere. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Why would he run off? He said something about saving mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand she's gone. If he has foolishly run off, then he is no doubt dead. You should get used to that fact. Mm. Nice. Maybe you want to kick her in the head while you're at it. Shall we comfort her with lies? If she is to face death, better she face it honestly. I hope he didn't try to go to the castle. Oh, that would be awful. Have you tried looking for him? I went to her house. It's by the square. He wasn't there. I searched the rest of the village too. I called and I called, but he never answered. I, I wonder if he ran off into the woods. I'm so worried. Without me, he has nobody. Well, I'll look for him. And Sten and Morgan are going to be so disapproving. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. Silence, girl. Do you want the um, children to hear you? I'm Night shocked. Coming. I thought they the would say something. I forgot how, uh, how much they don't like my choices. What is that smell? Fish? And something else. Oh, more fish. <laughs> you know, we don't have the men with no us. Their numbers just keep blowing each night. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. Yes, sir. What should we do until then? Pray, and hope for a miracle. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I didn't think they made women Grey Wardens. Uh, why does everyone go on about that? Well, they do. So you say, a damn Kunari could walk up and say he was a Grey Warden. I wouldn't know the difference. That much is clear. <laughs> we aren't going to turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. <laughs> Have faith, good man. We can defeat this evil together. I hope you're right. I really do. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. How's morale? Morale's about what you'd expect. These men aren't soldiers. They're villagers defending their homes, and they're frightened. It would help if we had decent equipment. There weren't enough swords in Owen's shop, and the men's armor is nearly falling off. I don't think we're in any shape to fight. We'll do our best, of course, but, well, I have my doubts. I just hope I'm alive tomorrow morning. Hmm. I have some questions. Oh? Ask away. Why have you been stationed here? We're the last defenders of them folks in the Chantry. The women, elderly, and the children. They're the ones we need to protect. The weak must learn to protect themselves. Right, those helpless bastards. How dare they? 
No Kunari would ever cower helplessly, not woman, nor elder, nor child. They would fight for their survival with tooth and nail. Well, we're not Kunari. I'm not asking those folk to fight monsters. No matter what happens, we can't let them evil things in there. If they die, the village is done. Where can I get supplies? Hmm. If you want weapons and such, you'd go to the blacksmith, but there isn't much left there. Mm. Uh, commerce isn't exactly our biggest concern right now, but you might want to speak to Lloyd at the tavern. I wouldn't <laughs> trust him, though. Okay, carry on. Right. Let's hope we see morning. Oh, wait. Did I forget Something a quest? You need? What can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Hmm, why does he refuse to talk? His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, so he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. Is there anything else you need? We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. Hmm. Tell me about him. He's a trader, a dwarf, lives near the lake, locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. Shouldn't you be trying to reason with Owen? Don't drink with him. That's how he sucks you in. Just my luck, our success hinges on the most foolish drunk of a smith ever to grace the Maker's lands. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. Chest. I shall do it. Don't you ever talk? You know, make polite conversation, just to put people at ease? You mean that I should remark upon the weather before I cut off a man's head? Never mind. <laughs> Don't try, Alistair. Kind of uh, regretting bringing Sten. Yeah, Stin has never liked me. Whatever's inside the dresser, come out now. Go away. This isn't your home. A small human. I say burn it out. <laughs> ah, what are you doing? All right, uh, I'll come out. Please, don't hurt me. I'll go back to the Chantry if you want. I didn't mean any harm. Your sister's looking for you. I just didn't want to be at the Chantry anymore. Everyone's scared, and I want to be brave. So what were you doing in there? I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. Are you sure? Maybe I could help. No, I won't tell you. And you can't make me. You can't. Kids. As you say. Legend of Calahad. Key required. Huh. Why is there a giant pile of... It is laundry. begun. Cautionary tale for adventurers. Hmm. Go 
try this then. No swimming. Oh, codex entry. Okay, I was wondering why it was highlighted. Cute little chicken coops. Okay, we didn't go everywhere yet. General store. Okay. As you say, lamp oil. Chest. It shall be done. Insufficient skill. What? Uh, I have level two. Level eight? What level am I? Level seven. It's irritating. Tattered shopping list. Sugar, wheat flour, fillet knife, fillet knife, ginger, <laughs> ink, cod liver oil, dried mushrooms, rouge. Why? Why, why, why? That's to get people like me who want to click on everything, isn't it? Probably so. <laughs> you failed to pick the lock. Okay, let's go in. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. I apologize. I don't mean any harm. Apology accepted. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now get out. <laughs> what are you doing shut up in here? Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. You'll die in here just as easily as out there. Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. Can't I change your mind? Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. Put in a good word for you. And what good would that do me? The Arl's probably dead. I couldn't care less what Tegan thinks of me. What else you got? Mm, about a little more personal reward? I don't know for sure what that's insinuating so we'll just hire him are you serious yes i won't even stick my head out my door for less than a hundred silvers i won't go higher than 50. do i look like an elf i'm not that cheap it's a hundred or it's no deal dang it fine you're getting off easy there but like you say i guess this town needs a hero you better be out there, too, when the sun goes down. I'm not fighting for a lost cause, you hear me? <gasps> What's the gold? Does he have anything I can steal? Make up for it? No? Move. Nope. Okay. What's that? No. Okay. Well, at least we got him on board. Every warm body helps. Go 
away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. I haven't taken anything. Hey, you're not Murdoch. Who are you and what are you doing at my door? Can I come in? Certainly not. I don't know you and I don't want to. Off you go. Please, I just want to talk. Mm. All right, all right. I don't know why you're so determined. Here, I'll get the locks. Somebody's been drinking. <laughs> so I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? My name is Lisa. I'm a Grey Warden. A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Anyhow, my name's Owen. Though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? Um, why have you locked yourself in the smithy? My girl, Felena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. So you intend to drink yourself to death? Why not? It's not like we're going to live past the night anyhow. Or are you going to save us? I intend to try. Is that so? <laughs> Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. What about the militia? They need your help. If you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. I'll do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I promise. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Yes. Is this a promise we will not keep? All the kittens. Let's hope not. What's this? I said nothing to you, human. Right then. It seems I have some work to do, relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. <laughs> Morgan and Stan. Team. I must admit, it feels good to be up and doing something finally. There's no way I'm sobering up before morning, however. Uh, let's talk business. Right. I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. Ah, uh, yes. I thought he was a... I thought he was a merchant. Okay, cool. Um... Does Liliana need this? Yeah, she needs that, so I'll hold on to that. Okay, so I don't have anything else that needs to... No, okay. Uh, hmm. Hey, I see you found my hiding place. I stuck some old equipment in there before Murdoch could get his hands on it. I don't think there's anything you'll need in there. But it's hard to say. I was in a bit of a rush when I filled it up. Not if I'm going to repair the equipment they have. That stuff is old, anyhow. Yeah, let me open it for you. I have the key. 
Oh good. Cool. There we go. Very well. Uh, I can't remember if I need to sell that or give it to them outside. I can't recall. So he was saying they need equipment. Oh, oops. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. <laughs> Good enough, I say. I'll inform Bantig and the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. I still need to speak with Sir Firth. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge, to the north. I have a good feeling about tonight. Uh, let's see what that says. So I need to talk to Sir Perth and find a use for the oil. Okay. But he didn't say anything about the, uh... The weapons that I got from... As you say. So I assume they don't need them and I can sell them. Can I open these chests? I wonder. How do I get over there? I can't remember. I thought there was some way over there. Alright. Yep. Almost took a dive. It is begun. Insufficient. Ah! Uh, must be a three? Three is ridiculous to have at this point in the game. I just, uh, it's so frustrating. Don't eat the cheese. <laughs> hey. Hello there, Lloyd. friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had many travelers lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? Not at all. Brave words. Brave words. Well, we'll see when night falls, won't we? So, what'll it be? You are here to drink, I hope. I need some questions answered. Fine. Make them quick. Why are you still open? I'm not abandoning my tavern because of a few monsters. The second I'm in the Chantry, Murdoch and his men will be here drinking all my ale. Uh. Shouldn't you be helping to defend the Why? village? When them creatures attack, I lock myself in the cellar, just batten the hatches and wait it out. What's the point in getting myself killed with all the rest of them? If that makes me a coward, then I'm a coward. I should go. All right then. I wonder if I can hey, still. What can I get you? Ah, uh, that was my only shot. Hmm. Right. Got some supplies too. I feel like if I interested. chose that option to the intimidate him, he would have. It doesn't hurt to pick up some of the slack, eh? No longer been a merchant, and I didn't want to lose a merchant at this point. Okay. 
Nothing. Nothing. I can't believe Lloyd won't even give us some free ale. A time like this, and all he thinks about is turning a profit. Did you expect any different? That bastard's always been cheaper than an antique from the hall. Here we are defending the village, and he don't even have the decency to help us out. He's charging you? That's outrageous. You're telling me? We're just trying to survive. And here he is, making a profit. Ah, uh, what difference does it make? He won't care. I hope your helping makes a difference. It'd be a shame you coming here and dying on the night. Hey, what can I get you? I hear you charging the militia. Why shouldn't I? They may not have much coin, but I'm not giving it away for free. Think of the goodwill you'll earn. Goodwill? Bah, I prefer the good gold, that's what. Their money won't help you if you're dead. Hey, there's no need for that kind of talk. That's murder. Would anyone miss you? Hey, look, see, 80 silvers. I could pay you to uh, protect me. There's no need for any unpleasantness. I prefer you join the militia. But, but I, oh, all right. I approve, all who are able should fight. But all of this better be here when I get back. I don't want a place drunk out from under me. Blasted bloody. Make us blessings on you tonight. Hopefully, we all make it. Not looking for company. Strange seeing an elf here. Elves aren't allowed to travel? It's just curious. I'm not here to talk. Just leave me to drink, all right? I just want to be left alone. Hmm, I don't think so. I said I'm not looking for company. Who are you? I'm not here to talk. Just leave me to drink, all right? I just want to be left alone. I said I'm not looking for company. Shouldn't you be with the militia? Why? I don't live here. Who are you? I'm not here to talk. Just leave me to drink, all right? I just want to be left alone. Mm. See, this is where having Liliana would have helped. I said I'm not looking for company. I'm not here to talk. Just leave me to drink, all right? I just want to be left alone. So I know with Liliana, she points out that he's a spy. And here I've made Lloyd leave and didn't ask him about this guy in the corner. I said I'm not looking for company. So I, I remember that. Elves aren't allowed to travel? I'm not here to talk. Just leave me to drink, all right? So I, just I can't be left alone. I can't get those options because of the choices that I've made with this playthrough. Ah, that's too bad. I see you got that bastard Lloyd to join the militia. It's about time he did something to help out. <laughs> I guess this puts me in charge. <laughs> Poor Lloyd will have an apoplexy just thinking about it, eh? <laughs> Kids, you serve the militia <laughs> ale for free. Lloyd wouldn't care much for that. It's an excellent idea. You hear that, <laughs> boys? Drinks for the militia are on the house. Ha! <laughs> You're the best time! You just keep us all safe, boys. And stay alive. Oh, she's given me the option. Not cool. much. He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit creepy. When I lock up the tavern later on, I will be. Are you fighting tonight? Yes. That's good to hear. I didn't know that. What business? <laughs> I close up, but it gives the militia a place to take their minds off tonight. Me too, I suppose. Okay. Keep safe and come back anytime. I won't lock up until near sundown. Maybe now I, I can said get I'm not looking for company. A different option. What? How did you know that? Uh, well, that's my name. Why? You seem awful nervous. 
I... no reason. I just didn't know how you knew my name. That's all. You said you are waiting for your brother. What? Oh, yes. He was supposed to meet me here. And then I got stuck here when monsters from the castle attacked. I'm supposed to believe that? Look, you're very pretty and all, but I was told to... Uh, just leave me alone. What do you mean? What were you told to do? Nothing. Nobody told me to do anything. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. Just tell me what you're hiding. I don't want trouble. I... I'm going to the Chantry now. Just leave me alone. Answer my questions. All right, all right, I'll tell you. Just don't hurt me. This <laughs> is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I swear. Who are they? A tall fellow. I forget his name. He, uh, said he was working for Hal. Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man. Terran Logan's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. But he's supposed to watch for. Just to report any changes. Honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. You know how this happened? I don't know anything about these creatures. When the Arl got sick, I got scared that people would think I was involved. But I swear I don't know anything about it. They sent me to watch. Maybe they knew the Arl would get sick. I don't know. How do I know you're telling the truth? Here. This is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it. Do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. I think you should help defend Redcliffe. Fitting. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Berwick's letter. We need your eyes and ears in Redcliffe. Stay in the village. Keep your head down. Watch the castle report. Any changes? Hmm. Okay. I think that's about it, isn't it? Let's check. Talk to Sir Perth. Find a use for the oil. Okay. So, Sir Perth. I think he's across that bridge. Oh, look at that door lighting up. What's in there? Just a house. Oh. Hello. Darnell. Yes? What can I do for you? I have a letter from the Blackstone Irregulars. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my wife. Don't sign that paper, she said. They might pay you a few sovereigns now, but they'll be back. Blast. I'll see you on the front lines, I suppose. There's always a price to be paid. Ballad of Aaliyah. But not again. How high does my skill have to be? Three? Four? Five? Like, I don't want to have to remember to come back to these things, you know? Okay, sir. Alright, I've come up with one. A question that you can't answer. Are you talking to me? That's right. You think you're so smart. I've got an academic question that I bet you won't be able to answer. Oh, I doubt that. So tell me then, what was the name of Andraste's husband? This is a religious question, not an academic one. You're joking, right? A five-year-old could answer that question. 
Do you not know more than a child? <laughs> I care nothing for your religion. And this game of yours is over. Oh, how the mighty have crumbled. Ah, man. I do like having those two together. They Castle. crack me up. Oh, gift. Okay. All is still as it has been for days. Big tree. Ah, sort of like coming home again, but with more undead. That <laughs> would be weird. Seems like yes. Okay. Love letter. Wealthy paramours. Correspondence interruptus. A collection of embarrassing personal communications between the spoiled wealthy and their objects of obsession. You are filthy, a beast. Such depravity I have never been forced to suffer. How words are so laden when they leave your lips is beyond decent imagining. Madam, I love you. Ah. People don't talk like that anymore, do they? <laughs> okay, hi, Sir Perth. Greetings, Grey Warden. I'm as relieved as Van Tegan is to see you here. I must admit I do not know quite how to address you. Is my lady sufficient? Call me Lisa if you would. As you wish, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah well, with the Grey Warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. Have you considered using the oil in the village store? No one told me of this. Oil, you say? How much exactly? Enough to set many monsters aflame. Assuming that would hurt them. Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective, if used carefully. Yes, excellent idea. I'll send some men to collect the oil. We'll use it to slow these creatures down. Have you anything else to ask me in the meantime? I have some questions for you. Ask me whatever you wish. You mentioned something about an urn. When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The Urn of Sacred Ashes is a legendary artifact said to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinter and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteer to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. Why did the Arlesa think anyone could find it? The Arl once employed a scholar, Brother Genetivi. He had proof the urn was in Ferelden, or so I was told. What is the Arl sick with? We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Arlesa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. Can no one find the other knights? Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Raycliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. So the knights left the castle defenseless? Not at all. A great number of soldiers remained in Castle Raycliffe. I wonder if they perished there or were transformed into these things. The thought chills my blood. As you wish. We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Ah. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. Is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. Carry on. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Okay, so it looks like I need to go get divine protection. 
Okay, so I get some blessings. Let's get turned around here. All oh, right, that's the, the spy. So we got the spy. We got the win. We got the win. Lloyd or Lloyd? Yeah, Lloyd. <laughs> Hi, Lloyd. Well, I'm here. I'm cold. I'm certainly gonna die. Hope you're as amused as Murdoch is. <laughs> He's the type who would try to run off in the middle of battle to save his own skin. Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. Just stay safe. The Maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. Jetta. You're a Grey Warden, right? Were you in Oscar? Oh, yes. In the Kokari Wilds? Is this My for husband and son Rigby? went there to bring the chant of light to the chastened. Rigby and. But I haven't heard from them since. Are you Jetta? I am. You've heard of me? Your husband and son are both dead. I. I thought that might be the case. Thank you for telling me. I have something from your husband. Oh? Oh, his lockbox. If you're bringing me this... Oh, no. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for bringing this to me. It means a lot, too. Make his blessings upon you. Rigby, yeah. Rinia. Sounds familiar. Good day. Good day. You are a stranger amongst us, yet you still agree to defend our village in its darkest hour. We are most grateful to you. I have my own reasons to be here. Which doesn't include protecting innocence. Regardless, I am grateful the Maker brought you to us. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Sir Perth needs holy protection for the night. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. What do you mean? Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures, a shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. But if they think it helps them... I cannot do it. I know that their own faith may inspire them, but these men need to find confidence on their own. I, I simply won't lie to them. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. It's frustrating. What is it you need, child? May the Maker watch over uh, you, child. That's frustrating. People. People, people, people. Can I talk to you one more time? 
I hear both Murdoch and Sir Perth are ready for nightfall. Excellent news. What would you like to know? Ask away. Okay. Good, then my secrets are still safe. I was worried for a moment there. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Like we're almost ready. Almost ready for the next bit. Now that I'm thinking about it, uh, we got more tactic slots. Activate threat and activate shield cover. Okay, so if I go here and then. Okay, so he has shield pummel, shield bash, precise striking, activate threaten, activate shield cover. that I need that. So really he just has shield bash. So let's see. Let me target using a ranged or magic attack. Use ability shield pummel plays. That's because it's against an enemy. And if enemy is using ranged or target attack, use ability shield bash. So that one is. 20 seconds, about 20 seconds. Okay. It's Alistair Morgan. Morgan's tactics. Yeah, she's already good. Sten. He needs some healing. Just 50% use. Least powerful poultice, move that up. Oh no, wait, he is a scrapper, I guess. No, we will do this one itself. Health less than 50. Use least powerful, move that up. Activated, activated, sustained. Activated, sustained, sustained, sustained. Man, he's advanced. Activated. Okay. We'll see to attack. Melting to movement, knocking opponent to the ground, and poultices. Stun me. Target enemy clustered with at least two allies. Use dual weapon sweep. And target. 
target some enemy. Use this old mage. Do the post. Okay. Keep pushing the space bar to jump, and that's the pause. The Knights serial of jumper. Are ready to fight at your disposal. Said you wanted holy protection. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? She doesn't believe she can help you. I see. Then I suppose we must simply rely on our own prayers. The Maker will not help us. Thank you for your efforts. We shall fight on, nevertheless. What is your status? We retrieved more oil from the village store. It is ready to use as our first line of defense, as you suggested. Overall, my fellow knights are nervous about the coming battle. Death is almost certain. But we will fight and die valiantly if that's what the Maker demands. All right, carry on. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. OK. Let's see what happened. Hmm, that's really too bad. I know there's a way to have that be different. Okay, so I know what happens next. The tavern keeper is letting the militia drink as much ale as they so, please. So I think this is a no good place to end. So it should be. No sane man it'll should be a fun, uh, fun episode really next time. Uh, and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you table. next time. Thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe. It really helps the channel. If you'd like to help me to continue producing new content, consider supporting me on Patreon. The link is in the description below. Right now, I'm facing a lack of space for new videos and need help upgrading my equipment. You can make a difference. See you next time.